All right. Good luck, everybody. This is uh, 40, 40 autograph pictures. Some of them might, I might ship some of them in these, in these things. Not really quite sure how I would ship them, but. We opened some earlier today. I get now, or I could just ship them like this. I can put the tape. All right, number one. A very young Bill Pullman. Most people probably know him from Independence Day. And they don't really show all that well, but you get the idea. That's a male actor. So, Logger, I think you're on the board. We have a politician! John Edwards. I do believe that's all he qualifies. Comments from the peanut gallery are welcome. <laughs> if you know anybody in Germany, Germans love David Hasselhoff. Who had actor? Oh, A-Kane. A-Kane, you have actors. Oh, there's another one. Hey, Kane, do you know of two offs? I'm waiting for a cardboard cut. We have an actress from Parks and Recs. Rashida Jones, who has massive pop culture skills going along nicely with the product. We have a female actress. It's the only type. Uhura from Star Trek. Very cool. They were. Actors, actresses, singers, politicians. Athletes. Hottest women on the planet, actress Emmanuel Cricky from Entourage. Don't sign your autograph over your white gray dress where everyone can see it. Dum dum. Hot, not bright. This could even be from her appearance on Star Trek. This, all these, by the way, either have a PSA cert. This one has a Leaf cert. Hottie, Joan Collins. City on the Edge of Forever? 
Well, it could have been some western she was on back then. Bonanza or some shit. Actresses are crushing it! Gray's good buddy, Ed O'Neill, forever be known as Al Bundy, not the guy from Modern Family. I'd like to see an Al Bundy and Peg Bundy. Dude, he's the man. Is he going to get another buck 30 tonight? American Pie actor Jason Biggs. I was watching that stupid uh, Stephen A. Smith the other morning. There it is. No way. No way. No way. Ezekiel Elliott. Runs for 2,000 yards. Oh, Seymour Scagnetti himself, Tom Sizemore. Hey, Kane, I think you're doing all right, buddy. I might have to do a, I'm not exactly sure on her. I don't think she's a singer. PSA DNA. You know what she might be? She might be a reality star. That was a category I probably should have had. Anybody? I'm not up on this chick. Elizabeth Rome. Very sexy girl. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Actress, thank you. That's <laughs> that is the one that I forgot though. I should have had reality star because I'm sure there's some dope in here. Oh, we had Adrena Partridge earlier today. Adrena Partridge. Oh, more balloons. Actress, Aisha Tyler. I don't know if I've ever seen anything that Elizabeth Rom is in, but she's hot. Got some beautiful eyes. Thank you. We have a multi for the multi spot. This is the second one of these I've seen, which doesn't really make me happy that there's actually two of these, but it's the cast of 1968's Oscar winner for Best Picture, Oliver, Mark Lester, Ron Moody, and some chick named Wallace. Shayna Wallace. More porridge, please. I don't know. I didn't even look. I only saw you and Lager. But I had a multi-auto spot because I was told there were those in there, so that goes to the multi-auto spot. Nice to see that market shut. I'd like to see a sports guy here. I'm going to log and miss out on some sports action. Don't know who this is. Alfonso ribbed for her pleasure. Anybody? I'm assuming that's an actor. Oh, is he on the Fresh Prince? Been on anything since? <laughs> no. Uh, 
Wow! This chick was in the original 1931 Dracula with Bella Lugosi. She lived to be over a hundred years old. Carla LaMeo. How about that shit? I don't know when she signed this. That's crazy. That's a, that's a showcase piece. If only they had got Bella on it. Oh, yeah. Vampires were all about choking bitches out. Oh, Ron Perlman. From Hellboy. Come to me. Really seems like the actor and actress spot should have probably done a little better. If I dare do these again, I would think they might go better next time. But I'm not sure who this is. This might be a singer. He's got an African gray, which makes him a fan of mine. Kurt Sutter. That is an African gray, one of the smartest creatures on earth. Like the fifth or sixth smartest. Is he a director? Oh, isn't he the uh, the motorcycle show, right? Yeah, Sons of Anarchy. There you go, the director spot hits. Nice. Hey, Bob. Yes, fifth or sixth smartest thing on the planet. An African gray parrot. Hi, I'm Ezekiel Elliott. I beat my girlfriend and smoked pot. My days are numbered in the NFL. Oh, yeah, we had J.J. Abrams earlier today, so that's that's two different directors. You know what these boxes are? They're like the fucking Chinese finger torture. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. This guy twice? Alfonso ripped for her pleasure looking like like he was on Dancing with the Stars. I'm starting to think certain things about Alfonso. I wonder if I should start sniffing blue again. Anyone down to pay $27,000 for a box of Topps football, Topps baseball cards? We have a female singer. Now, here's an example. This chick also did quite a bit of acting, but she will go to the female singer spot. That is Debbie Harry from Blondie. Most of these are PSA DNA. Oh, I like this chick from Mad Men and Last Man on Earth, January. Jones. She looks much hotter on Last Man on Earth than she does dressed in that stupid outfit from the 1960s. If anybody wants to see an early early film work of Norman Reedus where he's banging Deborah Harry, who's his mom, a movie called Six Ways to Sunday. A little film tip from your buddy Bumo. Six Ways to Sunday, Norman Reedus, Blondie. Pretty sure that's an actress. Leah Michelle. <laughs> Watch the greasy strangler. 
Sean, how about channel zero? Did you check that out? I don't know which one I'd recommend more between the two. <laughs> Why don't they just someone shoot both her and Trump right before the election? That, that'd throw things into a tailspin. Oh, I'm not sure what this is from. I only know him as Tim the Toolman Taylor. Ugh. Tim Allen? All right, so she's definitely an actress then. Tim Allen would go to the actors. Actually didn't have a comedian spot. I don't know if I was told if there's any comedians or not. But. All right. I guess this would go to an actor, and I believe this was the voice of Charlie Brown in some of the old Charlie Brown cartoons. Sports cards, I don't have... You're asking the wrong person political questions. You know that, right? Peter Robbins. I know, Logger. Believe me, I'm pulling for you, buddy. I think she's a disgusting, vile pig, and I think... Trump is a dope, and if I had to have my choice, I would take the dope over over the devil. Uh, the only singing he did was in Spinal Tap, so this would go to the actors, Michael McKean, from Saul. Better call Saul. Yes, I think she is. I think she is Satan. I think there's a there is a chance that she's Satan. And and in my gut, yeah. But when I talk about it, it's a little bit different. In my gut, I still don't see how this country would ever allow a uterus to be in the White House. You just you can't. You can't. <laughs> From American Beauty, Nina Suvari. What's his name? Got the banger. Kevin Spacey. Well, how about that guy who hasn't who hasn't mispicked a, an election in 32 years? Says Trump. Boy, she looks hot in this picture, but she didn't look hot in all of, you know, most of the shows she was in. Once again, we have an actress who used the whole page. Jenna Elfman. Jenna Elfman. She was on that show with Thomas Gibson, and I don't remember what it's called. What it was called with the gay guy, I think. Listen, the world's kind of come to an end anyway, so who cares? Come on, how about an athlete? That's got to be from uh, Lethal Weapon. Danny Glover. These actor and actresses spots should have got 200 fucking dollars. If anybody uh, feels like donating some more for your nice window hall. Also a singer. This is a tough one. But only because Bruce Willis blew his fucking hand off and the jackal. I'll go with actor Jack Black. I think it's just mostly actors and actresses. I know, but I gotta make a call. Wow, two Ron Perlmans. Also from Hell. Anybody wants to buy four of these directly? 110, I'll ship it in a flawless suitcase. 
Christian offense and such a hole here. <laughs> we have an athlete. This would go to other miscellaneous sports. Nadia Komanich. I saw that, buddy. Thank you. Who, as she got older, developed this very large pair of jugs. When most uh, gymnasts don't have no jugs. Wow. Another Danny Glover. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, he's he's not a short print. And he's not busy. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Walking Dead, Michonne. Danai Gorira. That's probably some money. Anything Walking Dead. We did some earlier and we had a Michael Rooker. Told him that's a good one too, man. Uh, I think Glover was have all been Leaf COAs, yes. Him and, him and Brian Gray, they break bread. Good buddies. We have a basketball player! One guess who it is! And you won't be wrong! Nobody? And he's got Michael Jordan in the picture. You catch Michael Jordan walking down the street. You go, Mike! Mike! Say this! He said, get away from me, kid. You bother me. Bill Lambeer. How you get Bill Lambeer? <laughs> Jesus. You know what? I'm going to give this to the football spot. It's a football coach. Football coach should be a football spot. Bobby Bowden. Florida State. Legendary head coach. Two sports in a row. Oh, that's looking like a Star Trek show of some kind, so that's got to be an actress. We have the lovely Jolene Blaycock. I don't think she's in relation to Mookie Blaycock or Hank Blaycock. Another Ohura. Those are probably pretty good. Even though there's been two of them, I bet the actor spot made out all right. Actress with big balloons, Cheryl Hines, although she's not showing them that well. These are going to be pretty easy. We have a 
another miscellaneous sports. Is the miscellaneous sports person in here? The lovely Natalie Galbes. God, she could be like a fucking model. What the woman is beautiful. There you go, Logger. Hit a few of them now, right? Two left. I am really surprised we haven't got a Pete Rose yet. <laughs> I figured Pete Rose would be every other one of these fucking things. Oh, actor David Arquette from Scream. I know, asked on by. I know they're in here. I was told they are. It's probably not a lot. It's probably only a couple of different guys. That's the problem. I don't think you didn't pay too much for that spot, though, right? I think. I think they have some goalies. I don't think they have, like, Wayne Gretzky. Maybe they do. I don't know. I think this is a singer, American Idol singer, right? Catherine McPhee? Well, she on, if she was on American Idol, that's going to the singer spot. Because I think she's been on a reality show, too. But um, Anybody want to buy any of these? 30 bucks a pop? I don't think they're a real bad bet, 30 bucks. Yeah, we got a half hour to Immaculate. I'll certainly hang around.